Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about colloids imaging. We know epithelial line focusing containing cysts almost exclusively located in interior superior third ventricle. Most common signs and symptoms headache 75%, nausea and vomiting visual symptoms. 40 to 50 percent are asymptomatic and discover insulin tolerance. Three, five, ten years insulin in developing system-related symptoms. Zero, zero, eight percent respectively. Other signs and symptoms: acute hormone or mineral obstruction rarely leads to acute hydrocephalus and Asian death. Usually, it sees more than once year. Ataxia, angry loss, and the cosmology get disturbance vertical. Imaging, vascular, round, homogeneous midline, as a form of one row with lateral medical enlargement, mean size, asymptomatic around 0.8 cm, symptomatic 1.4 cm, CT with a 70 to 80 percent, so more than 20 to 80 percent. Of our red bar sign characteristic, T1 hyper and 10, 40 to 60 percent, T2 hyper and 10, 50 to 60 percent, no blood separation or restriction. <laughs> No enhancement, really seen very enhanced. Pillar of chronic straddle anterior aspect of cyst. Axial plantoplasty CT in a 14 years old boy with a so hyper attenuation lesion a deformant or mandrel, which is caused by enlargement of the lateral vertical. The finding of vertical enlargement suggests that the cyst is slightly symptomatic. The reason was endoscopic receptive and pathology confirmed by colloids. Axial transparency in the 14 years old with head age, so around hyperdynating mass at the forum of Monroe. The enlarged lateral ventricle, so some form of in the very ventricle of white matter, consisting consistent with trend, infinimal edema in obstructive. Hydrocephalus. Axial T2 upper in the same patient suffered so anterior superior third ventricomas with homogeneous signal and there is iso intent to gray matter, typical of colloids, not the ventricular enlarged and very ventricular signal on body. Consistent with hydrocephalus that has developed from absorption of the formula of Monroe. Besides our T1 of an image, you need super symptomatic boy at chance. Yes, of age, so an interval increase the in size of the colloids in the anterior superior third ventricle, most colloids are stable over year, but some will be decreased. Axial T2 are in a patient, so around well the primers of the anterior superior third ventricle to have internal signal intensity nearly equal to CSF. Colloids that are hyperintense on CT generally respond to hyperintense T2 signal on the consistent with relatively low 
cholesterol content. Treatment, symptomatic patient, complete resection, endoscopic versus microsurgery. Endoscopic resection, less mobile. Morbidity, but increased recurrent rate. Microscopic hope and resection, high but less recurrent rate. With such a call, 50% experience short term memory disturbance. Recurrent is rare, especially with completely resection. A symptom patient. Conservative management, clinical and imaging follow. However, with relatively low mobility, surgery is all considered for a symptomatic patient. Less favor option. Stereostatic expression or extremely viscous solid sense. Ventricle something. Thank you.